Hello grade 9 students, this is Teacher V and welcome back dito sa aking channel. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa angle of elevation and angle of depression. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng dalawang klase ng angle na to? Nasa week 3 na tayo, quarter 4, grade 9 mathematics. At ang reference na ginamit ko dito ay ang clip or learner's packet from Region 4A Calabarzon. So are you ready? Bago nga pala tayo mag-start, Click mo muna yung like button at mag-iwan ng comment sa baba para mas lalong ganahan si Teacher V sa paggawa ng ganitong mga videos. Now, once done, let's begin sa definition ng line of sight. When we say line of sight, it is an imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer to the object being observed. So, let's say this is our eye. So, yung ating object na ino-observe po pwedeng nakatingala tayo or pwedeng nakayoko. So, yung line of sight of our observer above ay ito. And then ito yung line of sight below observer. Okay? Again, pwedeng nakatinga na. Pwedeng nakayo ko. Ayan. And meron din tayong tinatawag na horizontal line of sight. Yung horizontal line of sight is parang pa-horizontal lang siya or pahigang line na ka-level ng ating eye. Alright. So, next na definition na kailangan nating maintindihan is yung angle of elevation. It is at the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. So kapag yung ating line of sight is above the observer or nakatingala tayo, that is an angle of elevation. Then, the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below so, pagpababa naman yung ating line of sight or nakayuko, naman yung tinatawag natin, angle of depression. So, nakita nyo yung pagkakaiba? Angle of elevation pag nakatingala. Angle of depression pag nakayuko. So, let's answer the first learning task. We have the figure and we're going to find the horizontal line of sight, the line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, ang horizontal line of sight is yung pa-horizontal lang. So, that is segment OX. Ang line of sight or yung ating airplane pababa dito sa house ay segment OY. And is this an angle of elevation? So, ito ay pababa kaya wala tayong angle of that elevation. Pero meron tayong angle of Depression. So, ang angle of depression natin is itong angle A or pwede rin natin sabihin X, O, Y. Nga pala sa inyong learner's packet, walang nakasulat na Y. So, para sa mga students ko dyan, Y yung ilagay niyo dito. Pero sa iba, ask niyo na lang yung teacher niyo, okay? Next, another figure. Ayan, ang horizontal line of sight is yung pa-horizontal line. So, segment O, R, ang line of sight. So, from here, pababa. From the car, uh, from the man at the top of the building, punta dito sa car. So, OS, angle of elevation ba to? No, kasi pababa yung kanyang line of sight. Kaya, ito ay angle of depression. So, angle A or angle ROS. Next, ang horizontal line of sight natin dito is OH. So, OH. Then, yung ating line of sight, nakatingin siya sa ibon. So, OG, segment OG, angle of elevation, itong angle A or angle GOH. Okay, GOH. Wala tayong angle of depression. Next, ayan, ang ating horizontal line of sight o yung pa-horizontal line lang is segment OA. So, nandito siya, OA. Line of sight natin, pataas, from here, from this point, papunta sa araw, that is segment OB. Ang angle of elevation is angle A or angle AOB. At wala tayong angle of depression. Next, ang horizontal line of sight natin is OD. Ang line of sight is OC and OE. Angle of elevation is angle A or angle DOC. So, pag nakatingala siya dun sa taas ng flagpole, pero kung nakayoko siya, meron din tayong mabubuong angle of depression, angle B or angle 
E O D. Punta na ngayon tayo sa assimilation. Ito yung mga questions. How did you identify the line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression? So, ang answer natin dyan, the horizontal line of sight is the horizontal line in the figure. If the object is above the horizontal line, then use the angle of elevation. But if the object is below the horizontal line, then use the angle of depression. Yung other questions, pwede nyo nang sagutan to, depende na lang sa kung ano yung natutunan ninyo about angle of elevation and depression. So, what ideas have you learned from this activity and do you think you can use these ideas in your daily life? Yes, of course, kasi gamit yung angle of elevation and depression, masusukat natin yung height ng building, height ng trees, di ba? So, pwedeng-pwede talaga natin magamit ang angle of elevation and depression in real life. Then, give and illustrate at least two situations in your life involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. So, ito muna yung angle of elevation. So, let's say, there stands 105 feet away from the base of the tree. She measured the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 72 degrees. How tall is the tree? So, this is an example of angle of elevation. Gamit yung angle of elevation, masusukat na natin yung height ng tree. Another example, ito naman ay angle of depression. Tignan natin. An observer is standing in an overlooking view of Antipolo City. He saw the Santa Lucia East Grand Mall in Caintarizal. Suppose that the height of the overlooking is 24 kilometers and the horizontal distance of the mall to the observer is 50 kilometers. What is the angle of depression to the observer? Ito naman ay example ng angle of depression. So, punta na tayo ngayon sa assessment. So, dito magda-drawing naman kayo ng pictures depende dun sa given na nakasulat. I-illustrate nyo lang using drawing. So, the angle of elevation of the top of the building from a point 40 meters away from the building is 75 degrees. So, we have a building and from this point up to the building 40 meters away. Tapos may angle of elevation that is 75 degrees. So, this is an angle of elevation. So, from this point up to the top of the building. So, 75 degrees. Next, the angle of depression of a boy from a point on a lighthouse, 40.5 meters above the surface of the water, is 5 degrees. So, ito yung ating water and merong lighthouse. Tapos, sa taas ng lighthouse, may boy or lalaki na nakatayo. So, from the lighthouse up to the surface above the water. So, from this point to this point, may mabubuo tayong 5 degree angle of depression. So, depression kasi pababa. Pagkatapos, yung lighthouse natin is 40.5 meters above the surface of the water. From point here up to here is to boy 40.5 meters. Okay? Next, if an airplane that is cruising at an altitude of 9 kilometers wants to land at Naiya, it must begin its descent so that the angle of depression to the airport is 7 degrees. Okay, so let's say this is our airplane. Papunta siya ngayon dito sa ating airport. So, angle of depression, so meaning to say pababa, is 7 degrees. Pagkatapos, yung kanyang altitude or yung taas niya is 9 kilometers. So, from here up to here, 9 kilometers yung taas. Number 4, a bird sits on top of a 4 meter lamp post. The angle of depression from the bird to the feet of an observer standing away from the lamp post is 40 degrees. Angle of depression natin from the bird to the feet of our observer is 40 degrees and then yung height or taas na ating lamp post is 4 meters. Points on the same side of a tree are 19.8 meters apart. The angles of elevation of the top of the tree are 21 degrees from one point and 16 degrees from other point. So, ang two points na pinutukoy dito, 19.8 meters apart ay itong point here and itong point dito. So, 19.8 meters at merong mabubuong dalawang angle of elevation dito sa unang point. So, 21 degree. And sa pangalawang point, 16 degrees. Then yung measurement ng dalawang points natin is 19.8 meters. Okay? So, ganyan natin pwedeng i-illustrate yung problem number 5. Sa susunod na week, 
papakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng right triangles gamit yung angle of depression and angle of elevation. So, abangan nyo ulit sa susunod kong video. And I hope na nakatulong ang video ni Teacher V para mas lalo kang gumaling sa mat. Huwag na huwag mo kalimutan na i-share to sa iba para sila rin ay matuto at merong maging guide sa pagsagot nila ng mga learning tasks sa mathematics. Huwag po rin kalimutan na mag-subscribe kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko para maging updated ka sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. Follow me also on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel. Kita-kita tayo ulit next week, week 4 to 5 na tayo. Bye-bye!